All right, I have a tricky question for you, which you might frequently see on the test. The cool thing is that you might be able to solve it, or in case you don't, I would love to show you the solution. Which of the following triangles comes next in the sequence? You have sequence of five triangles, and one triangle in the middle is missing, and you have four different choices to pick the right triangle. Choices A and B, represented by gray and black triangles pointing toward the top, and choices C and D, represented by white and gray triangles pointing to the bottom. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the right time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Do you think you came up with the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve this challenge together. Before revealing the solution to you, I would like to point at two patterns that we see in this problem. The first is the pattern of colors. You have black triangle, white triangle, and then missing triangle, then black triangle and white triangle. So something might be different from black and white potentially here. You also have a patterns of moon and star, and moon and star, they move inside the triangle. So you see moon and star in the leftmost triangle, then you see moon and star on the top, then you see moon on the top and star at the bottom, and then you see both of them, moon and the star, at the bottom of the triangle. So now let's jump to the solution. We have already looked at the pattern of the colors, and the sequence of colors is constant and is not changing. And we also reviewed the rotation of the shapes inside the triangle. The star shape is always in the next corner of the following triangle and is always followed by the moon shape. The assumption here is that the color of the missing triangle is different from the colors of triangles already shown and the only color that is different from black and white is gray. This is why the next triangle is gray, and you would need to pick correct pattern for the triangle. So the correct choice here is choice A. There are two gray triangles here, choice A and choice D, but there is also a third pattern, pattern that I did not mention because it will make things very obvious. And this is the pattern of pointing. You see that the first triangle is pointing upward. The second triangle points down. So the next triangle in the pattern will be pointing up as well, and the only gray triangle that points up is choice A. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to see the patterns and solve these types of challenges on the test. Let's see if we can solve this challenge together. Here is the very interesting and at the same time tricky question you might frequently see on the test. Which expression does not belong to the group? and you have four different choices. Choice A, six plus six equals 12. Choice B, five plus nine equals 14. Choice C, five plus six equals 11. And choice D, three plus seven equals 10. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the right time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Give yourself 10 or 20 seconds and see if you can come up with the solution. Did you come up with the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. Let me show you two ways you can solve this challenge. First, let's look on the right side of the expression. You see that the 12, 14, and 10 are all even numbers, and 11 is the odd number, so that should give you some clues. If you look on the left side of the expression, you see that 6 plus 6 is the combination of even numbers, and you see that 5 plus 9 and 3 plus 7 is the combination of odd numbers. So expression C stands out because you have combination of odd and even numbers in the choice C. So the correct answer, as you might have figured out, is choice C. And there are multiple ways how you can look for clues to solve these types of challenges. Let's recap. All numbers in the sums of the expression are even numbers except one. If you review the sums of the expressions, you see that 12, 14, and 10 are all even numbers, and 11 stands out. It's an odd number. So the correct answer here is choice C. Hopefully you've nailed this question. And now, here's the question for you to try. Please make sure to post your answer in the comment section of this video, and I'll give you my feedback. Find the missing number by imagining how the clock hand rotates. The start of the sequence will be at 9 o'clock, and it ends in the middle. You have four different choices. Choice A, 28. Choice B, 42 choice C 14, and choice D 44. Feel free to pause this video and try to solve it. 
And if you came up with the answer, feel free to post it in the comment section of this video and I'll give you my feedback. Thanks for participating. Let's look at the very interesting and at the same time tricky question you might frequently see on the test. This particular question tests your imagination as well as the knowledge of the English words. What word can you form using all the letters in the box? And you have nine unique letters presented in nine different boxes. Do you think you know the answer? Before we jump to the solution, this might be the right time for you to pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution on your own. Do you think you figured out the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. Obviously, there are a lot of different words that could be formed with the given letters. But what you need to do as part of the test is to find the word that best matches all the letters presented. You should start looking in the corners. And in this case, the pattern is counterclockwise. We have the word strategic, which is formed starting in the bottom left corner. If you start in the bottom left corner, and then flow from right to left, then flow from bottom to the top, from left to right, and then end your word in the middle, you will form the word strategic. Hopefully you've nailed this question, but in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out the aptitude test book in the description section of this video. Are you ready for this challenging problem? Let's look at the very interesting and tricky question you might frequently see on the test. Which expression does not belong to the group? And you have four different expressions. Choice A, 8 plus 4 equals 12. Choice B, 8 plus 6 equals 14. Choice C, 9 plus 8 equals 17. And choice D, 6 plus 12 equals 18. Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the right time for you to pause the video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Do you think you know the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. What's interesting about this question is the fact that we're dealing here with odd versus even numbers. You see that expression A has all the even numbers, 8 and 4 equals 12. Expression B is the same thing, 8 plus 6 is 14, all even numbers. Same with expression D, 6 plus 12 equals 18. So the expression C has two odd numbers, 9 and 17. And if you look at the answers, you can also figure it out by just looking at the answer. The answers are 12, 14, and 18 for solutions A, B, and D. And for the C, the answer is 17. So let's recap. All numbers and sums of the expression are even numbers with the exception of 1. 12, 14, and 18 are even numbers, but 17 is the odd number. So the correct answer here is choice C, 17. Hopefully you've nailed this question and got to the correct answer on your own. But in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out the description of this video for my Aptitude Test Questions PDF ebook. Here's the tricky IQ and Aptitude Test question you might frequently see on the test. Imagine a 4 by 6 shape with gray squares on the inside and white squares on the outside. It was broken into 2 by 2 shapes and three of the shapes shown belong to the larger shape, and one doesn't. Which one does not belong to the group? Do you think you know the answer? Now might be the right time to pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer on your own. Do you think you came up with the answer? Let's continue to see if we can solve this challenge together. As you might be well aware, a visual is worth 1,000 words or more. In this case, this is the shape 4 by 6 shape with the gray boxes on the inside and the white boxes on the outside, and it was broken down into 2 by 2 shapes. If we go back to the question, you see that the choice A is represented right here, if you flip the box in the bottom right corner of the screen. Choices B are in the opposite corners, and choices D are in the middle, but what you see is that choice C is not represented here anywhere. So the correct answer here is choice C. Let's recap. The large shape is depicted right here, where gray boxes are on the inside and the white boxes are on the outside of the larger shape. The shaded part of three boxes can form a shape using few turns, but still stay inside the larger shape. This is why choices A, B, and D are valid choices, 
and choice C is the correct choice, and this is the one you should be selecting. Hopefully you've nailed this question and answered it correctly. But in case you need more questions or practice problems, please make sure to check out my aptitude test question books in the description of this video. And now, here is the question for you to try. You can pause this video and try to solve it. Which shape does not belong to the group? And you have four choices of shapes. Please look carefully at all the shapes and try to determine the one that does not match particular pattern. You can pause the video and try to solve it. And if you came up with the answer, feel free to post the answer in the comments so I'll give you my feedback. Thanks for participating. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment test faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.